You're watching 360 Perspective, a program by ITN Productions and the British Hospitality Association. Well, joining me now to talk about the perception of the industry is the BHA's Chief Executive, Ufi Ibrahim. Ufi, great to see you again. Um, the hospitality industry in this country is one of the largest industries, isn't it? Employing over 4.5 million people, and yet there is a, a negative perception about the industry. Why do you think that is? Well, our perception isn't all negative. And one of the great examples that we have was the Olympic Games. In 2012, we saw this whole country coming together to ensure that the guests that arrived from all around the world received one of the best welcomes, the best services of hospitality ever given. And we saw an immediate impact in terms of a growth in incoming visitors to the United Kingdom. And the whole perception and discussion around British hospitality and British welcome being not as stuffy as perhaps it was seen to be prior to the Olympic Games, but sudden modern vibrancy to actually take hold. We want to ensure that that momentum continues so that we continue to build very positively on perception of the industry in the United Kingdom and to ensure that we're more competitive around the world so that everybody says British hospitality is the best hospitality, the best welcome. The Brits make you feel more valued than many other destinations worldwide. That's what we want to achieve. So that is your focus. You're promoting a 360 degree perspective. Can you unpack that a little bit for me? What exactly do you mean by that? So we're a very customer centric industry and therefore our customer's perception of our businesses, our service is very, very important because we deliver experiences those magic moments that you may have in a restaurant or in a hotel or an attraction are actually created by our teams, seamlessly. The choreography that's put into that, the experience delivery that's put into that is perhaps sometimes unrecognized, but it's certainly enjoyed. But there are other areas of perception as well that are very important for us as an industry, particularly when we begin to act as a collective. And you know, 97% of our businesses employ fewer than 50 people. This is an industry which is supported and delivered by SMEs all across the country. And for that reason, perhaps the perception of the importance that we provide to the UK economy or to society as an industry in the UK can be undervalued and unrecognised by government, by employers, by schools, by colleges, by a whole series of players. Now, if we can take that 360 degree perspective and bring it closer to the reality and inform all of those various audiences about the impact that we have, no matter how fragmented and dispersed, and get them to help us to channel that into a way that can create an even greater impact on society, an even greater impact on the economy. I think that would be a job well done. Ufi, every time we've met, you've always talked about growth. You're always looking ahead, aren't you, about how the industry can grow. Uh, this time is no different, and you are now focused on a 10-year strategy. Can you tell me a bit more about that? On the demand side, when we look at global travel and tourism, the growth has been absolutely phenomenal. Our industry worldwide has actually jumped to 1.2 billion visitors at the end of 2016. Now that global growth is going to continue. Now the question that we have in the United Kingdom is, A, how can we compete to get a greater market share of that big global growth? Because that represents exports, enterprise, jobs, and wealth for the United Kingdom. But also, how are we going to resource that? We will need to ensure that we have a future workforce in place that can actually provide for that big growth. Now while all of this is happening, Brexit will mean that businesses will need to be much more focused on a British workforce rather than continuing, arguably, to be reliant on an EU workforce. So this situation has given us a window of opportunity to rethink how we ensure, as an industry, we can attract a British workforce within an economy where we are at the lowest levels of unemployment that we have ever had in an environment where all businesses and all industries are going to be competing for a diminishing unemployed pool of people, how are we as an industry going to be able to attract a British workforce? What do we need to do to tackle that perception of our industry as being a career of choice? 
and not just a career of choice for a short term, but for a long term career with lots of opportunity. We have so many wonderful stories in our industry of people that have entered with hardly any qualifications, any experience and work their way up from dishes to riches, as we would say, from kitchens to boardrooms. Those sorts of opportunities arguably don't exist in other areas. We are a true meritocracy and we need to ensure that everybody appreciates that. You can enter a hotel, for example, and have 21 completely different, diverse experiences, even at the entry level. You could be working in maintenance, you could be working in sales and distribution, you could be working in service, reception, and then the opportunities to progress are very fast and very, very successful and sustainable too. You can genuinely develop a long-term career in the industry and we want to celebrate that to ensure all schools celebrate that and communicate that to all young children. So when they're asked as a child, what would you like to be when you grow up? They will say, we want to manage a hotel or I'd love to run a bar or a restaurant. At least as many times as they would say, I want to be an astronaut when I grow up. That's what we want to achieve. Well, we look forward to following your progress once again. Ufi Ibrahim, thank you very much. Thank you.